Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, and welcome to DC Fans United. I know it's been a while since I've put up a video, but I hope to get back on track and start making more content again. So we got some new information. It looks like we now know, or at least have the projections for, what the domestic box office opening is going to be for Shazam. So the thing I found to be most interesting about this is they're coming out with a 40 million to 45 million dollar figure for the domestic opening so when i say domestic i mean north america so it'd be you know us mexico and canada and to me i think 40 million and 45 million even is probably a little low and as i recall that's around what they were projecting aquaman would bring in domestically so i'm thinking and hoping uh it'll do a little closer to the same numbers that aquaman got now the interesting thing about aquaman is they thought it would get around 45 million but it ended up bringing in over 74 million and that was just in North America on opening weekend although that does include Thursday so I'm not entirely sure if the 45 million dollar figure on Shazam would include the early viewings on Thursday or if that's just the Friday Saturday Sunday shows so to me it's really interesting to see and you know I'm sure DC and Warner Brothers are really hoping Shazam can do anywhere close to what Aquaman did because that you know as you, as you know that made over a billion dollars in the box office and was by far the highest grossing DC movie yet so one thing that Shazam has going for it as well which is similar to Aquaman is its overall budget is fairly low um, where Aquaman had 160 million dollar production budget Shazam only had an 80 million dollar production budget that doesn't include marketing and promotion which I think they did spend a fair amount on so even if you doubled it and then <laughs> added some change it's still only 200 million dollars which I say only but it, in the movie industry that's not that much for instance Batman v Superman made 166 million just in its opening weekend so a really successful movie could you know make all the money it cost in its opening weekend when the production costs are relatively low for a superhero movie that's really low and everything i've seen of shazam and i've watched all the trailers quite a few times it doesn't look like a cheap movie i mean 80 million dollars you can still do quite a lot with effects if it's spent well and they could be using a fair amount of props and special effects and things too which may or may not cost more i know it's definitely going to be a combination but the lightning effects and things that i presume are cgi look really good so you know uh, between that you know you got good cgi and good acting it can be a very believable and cool performance another thing that i think is helping or going to help shazam is its competition that weekend shouldn't be too hard like aquaman had to go up against mary poppins and bumblebee so that's a Disney movie and a Transformers movie that's tough for anyone to compete against. This time around, Shazam's only going to be going up against a Stephen King movie. So it's the remake of Pet Cemetery, and then there's also going to be The Best of Enemies, which is a civil rights activist uh, struggle movie. I'm not sure how many general audiences are going to want to see Pet Cemetery anyway, and the other one being political and potentially kind of boring for kids i really think most audiences are going to gravitate short towards shazam so we could definitely see i think my guess is about 55 million uh for north america the big thing to consider is how well it does in china uh, aquaman made a, almost 70 percent of its total money overseas it's really beginning to be less and less about the north american market and more about the worldwide market of course china in particular but really japan um, south korea and even uh, europe and australia and places like that that it, it all adds up you know and people forget about countries too like india and indonesia that have these huge populations so you know indonesia has 500 million people if you get one percent of the people to buy a ticket that's a lot of money so in any case the worldwide box office is actually what I think is going to make or break these movies more than the domestic box office. But uh, uh, the signs are pretty good, and I'm hoping that with Captain Marvel opening about a month prior to Shazam, that there won't be too much competition there. I'm assuming Captain Marvel will be out of most theaters at that point, and if not, then most you know superhero fans will have probably already seen that movie by then. So I have high hopes for Shazam. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily going to make a billion dollars, though. Let me know down below what you think. You know, uh, I think a lot of people were really surprised that Aquaman did so well. 
but to be honest, uh, sex sells. <laughs> and uh, both Amber Heard and Jason Momoa are very attractive people. So uh, it can't be understated how many women probably bought a ticket just to see Jason Momoa for two hours running around shirtless. Uh, even if it's only 2% or whatever, that's a lot of money when you're talking about a billion dollars. So uh, that is, I think, kind of one thing that Shazam might be having against it, to be honest, is it doesn't have uh, sex appeal, which I find to be okay and actually, frankly, a really good thing since this movie is starring children. But... Uh, you know, in a way, it could hold it back. Uh, I, I do th honestly think part of why Aquaman did so well is because they cast some really attractive people. But who knows? Um, I think it'll still do really well. I'm I'm hopeful it'll make uh, over 800 million, but I don't know. I'm 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 not sure. But we'll uh, we'll find out. So let me know down below what you guys think. Do you think Shazam can make a billion dollars? And if you don't, how much do you think it'll make? And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And as always, thank you for watching and being a part of DC Fans United. End of line.